Today we are going to study about linear equations in two variables. The standard form of linear equations in two variables is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. The conditions here are a, b, c are real numbers and a and b are not equal to 0. This equation can be represented graphically or can be solved algebraically. Algebraically, there are three methods. Substitution, elimination and cross multiplication. Today we are going to discuss cross multiplication method to solve the linear equations in two variables. The linear equation in two variables when we solve algebraically, two equations at a time we are taking a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. Second equation is a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. If we apply the cross multiplication method to solve these equations, the must condition is these equations should be in their standard form. Standard form, if they are not, then you can make it. If C1 or C2 are on the right hand side, bring them on the left hand side. These are the two equations in standard form. And when we apply this cross multiplication, the must condition here also is, the system is having unique solution. Unique solution means there is only one common one and only one common solution of these two equations. After this, we will write the rule that is write x is equal to y is equal to 1. When we write x, then we will hide the coefficients of x. What is left out is b and c. So that we will write under x. Then similarly, hide the coefficient of y when we are writing y, left is c a, so write c a minus c a and when we write the constant 1, hide these two, c 1, c 2, left out are a b, so write a b minus a b. The easiest way is just write 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. This is the rule by which we can solve the linear equations in two variables by cross multiplication method. To apply the cross multiplication method, the first, first condition is the, the equation should be in the standard form. So let us take one example. Example 2x plus 5y is equal to 1. We have to keep in our mind that the equation should be in the standard form. The second equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 3. When you write these two equations, Make sure that C1 and C2 should fall on the left hand side. So we will rewrite the equations like this. So first condition is fulfilled, they are in the standard form. Now come to the rule. Write x upon these all coefficients a1, a2, b1, b2, c1, c2. For your convenience, you can write it over here. A1 is 2 a2 is 2, b1 is 5, b2 is 3, c1 and c2, minus 1 and minus 3. Substitute the values of a1, a2, b1, b2 in this rule. Now x upon b1, c2, b1 is 5, c2 is minus 3, minus b2, c1, b2 is 3, and c1 is minus 1 is equal to y upon c1 a2. c1 is minus 1, a2 is 2 minus c2 a1, c2 is minus 3 and a1 is 2 is equal to 1 upon a1 b2, a1 b2, 2 into 3 minus a2 b1 is 2 into 5. Once you write this rule, solve the denominators x upon 
5 into minus this is minus 15. This minus into minus becomes plus. 3 ones are 3 is equal to y upon minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. This minus into minus will become plus. 3 twos are 6 is equal to 1 upon 2 threes are 6 minus 2 fives are 10. This gives you x upon minus 12 is equal to y upon 4 is equal to 1 upon minus 4. Once you get this, this is something like a is equal to b is equal to c. Now in these first two terms are having x and y. So if you equate this first term by the third term, you will get the value of x. If you equate this second term and the third term, you will get the value of y. Let's do that. So x upon minus 12, we are equating first and the third term. x upon minus 12 is equal to 1 upon minus 4. Take this minus 12 on the right hand side, it will be minus 12 upon minus 4. So the value of x is equal to 3. Similarly, if you equate the second and the third term, y upon 4 is equal to 1 upon minus 4. Take this 4 on the right hand side. y is equal to 4 upon minus 4 that is minus 1. By applying this rule what we have learnt? We have found the values of x and y with this rule and this rule is easy to learn when you take x then take the hide the coefficients of x take other two and cross multiply it. It is b1 c2. We are multiplying in this way that is why this method is called cross multiplication method. b1 c2 b2 c1. Similarly for y c1 a2 minus a2 c1. So a1 c2. Similarly for the third one a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So we have got the value of x as 3 and y is equal to minus 1 for these two equations with the help of cross multiplication method.